the Unimap Edu Solutions Private Limited, cordially welcomes you to unlock your educational dreams. Hi friends, myself Ahmad Sharif. This video is brought to you by Unimap Edu Solutions Private Limited. Head office Koyambutur. Later on offices will be opened in Telangana, Hyderabad and so on. So today I am with our guest who has a vast experience in Europe with job experience and entrepreneur and patent holder, I would like to introduce him. Hi. Hello, I'm Sandeep. I'm I born and brought up in Mumbai and I came to Europe for my master's studies and presently working in Germany. It's nice to have with you, Sharif. Yeah, can I know where have you studied your master's? Uh, I studied in Vienna, Austria and my master's was in Biomedical Engineering. So, how many like institutes you have applied while coming for uh, Austria? I applied four institutes in Austria and a couple of in institutes in Germany. And the reason for these institutes, like these offer exclusive courses in Medical Engineering and they offer the language of instruction is English. So, so it was a limited a uh, choice for me to okay. choose from and the reason I choose the institute called FH Technikum Wien from Vienna because the university is situated in the capital city of Austria that is Vienna okay. and when you are in capital city you have more scope and more cosmopolitan uh, people around you so it was easy to decide the university from Vienna rather than other institutes in Austria. Apart from this, the important thing to decide on university was also the content of the sub courses and I found the content very well, very suited with my requirements and so I decided to go ahead with this university. Yeah, I have gone through your resume and I found out that uh, you have a, a different experiences like you have bachelor's from mechanical and yes. you have been now entered into biomedical engineering masters and you have been working in this field. Like how does this multidisciplinary has happened in your life? Yeah, this was not planned and when I finished my bachelor's I started working and uh, I got opportunity to work in new product development area and that product was consumer durable and more specific it is a uh, office chairs like the chairs we use which has the up down function and tilting backs armrest you okay. can move so it was i never thought working on such products but uh, then i realized it is a really complicated product and uh, i i i enjoy a lot and i learn a lot during in the new product development process and Accidentally, I moved into a medical device development uh, area and this is because of uh, not any uh, Plan. not having any specific medical background but this is because of the knowledge I have in product development. So that knowledge you can apply across fields. Yeah. For example, making movie yeah. requires the same process of new product development. Yeah. And then I start. I, I work in a startup company where I get opportunity to develop new products. And fortunately, patent receive yeah. uh, products receive patents. Yeah. And as I gather a huge experience in medical device development, I decided to pursue the higher studies in the same area so that it will enhance my uh, yeah. career. So, holding patent also it's not done by everyone. So it's unique of its your kind, so only few people do it. Yes. And how do you feel holding patent for your work? Yeah, it was very uh, exciting experience indeed. And our first application was with the US and we were not sure if we get patents or not. But amazingly, like in we apply for it 11 claims in one patent and we got nine claims successfully two were rejected but we still feel that it it's a win situation because out of 11 you get nine claims that is two in the u.s market so it was very exciting and motivating experience because till now we just heard about 
patents in the newspapers and yeah. magazines and owing such makes you unique yeah only few people i met only two or three and you are the first guy i am interviewing mm. also and what will be your suggestion that now people usually think i am from particular group like mechanical i have to choose only mechanical related masters or i am from electrical i have to choose only electrical related masters you you got the point right yes so what is this uni directional way thinking and you have been successful in multidisciplinary so can you explain that uh yes uh, i think it's in in indian culture we have this tradition once you do something then you keep continue doing and we thought the thing which we did will be wasted if we don't pursue that thing but it is not the case because uh for example i studied mechanical engineering and now i am developing medical devices but still i use expertise in medic- mechanical engineering into medical area so you never know you learn for example if you learn civil engineering and you later can switch to a software company who is developing software for civil industry for yeah. example nowadays everyone use erp systems and plm systems like project life cycle management and yeah. enterprise resource planning so for development of those softwares people companies need someone from the core experience for example if company is developing software for civil industry then they need civil engineers who have actually work on site and they know how the work is being done in civil industry so it's it's some 15 20 years back it was decided once you are a mechanical engineer you will stay in your line but now i think as we go in the new generation you yeah. can always switch to any of the profession yeah. and this you can decide based on your experience yeah so you have a good experience that you were coming for your masters and does it play any crucial role in your decision making and does it help in your studies yes indeed because because of experience i could decide what i want to do what courses i want to uh, which streamline the content of the study which is good and which is more beneficial for my career so with experience you get that maturity and you can also you will also know what you want to be in next after this education which i think very difficult to decide for a freshers because usually freshers we tend to go what our surrounding is yeah. pampering us yeah. for example our parents or society when i did my bachelors everyone was attracted to software industry and irrespective of any area like civil engineering mechanical electrical all my friends are into the software industry yeah and as long as you enjoy this it's not bad but yeah. sometimes you may land up in a situation like you follow some stream because it, the society told you there is a scope yeah. in that scheme yeah. and later you have no interest in that so it's good to follow your interest and experience will also help you deciding what you want to do further yeah usually uh, the general mindset of any student like they want to be secure in their life so they choose which is being safety and which is in demand so if i get i can get a job like if i pursue this masters so it has been uh, a good experience and well well good answer for that does experience matters in getting the job after your masters yes of course and it is this is the best uh, point or positive thing i would say like if you after your bachelor's you work 3 4 years and then you decide for higher education then the one thing is you can decide the stream correctly and the second point you said like is that help in getting a job so yes indeed it helps because the companies are always looking for a candidate who has the experience prior experience so that they can spend less time train you or you you can be a good quick learner if you have a experience so experience definitely help getting a job after uh, completing your higher education yeah. you can register with us through our portal 
So join us and be at the pinnacle of education through the best service provider. We keep your data protected and we are determined to connect the world to Germany with our amicable assistance. For further details, visit us at www.unimap.in.